What's up guys? So we are in the full throes of summer and it is julep season. And so I decided that why don't we make a mint juleps? But since we've already done a mint julep on this channel, why don't we make a summer mint julep and actually put some apricot in it? I think that would be a really fantastic julep to have. Something that's a real nice porch sipper for this hot, hot weather. Uh, if you want the full history on the mint julep, which is pretty interesting, just follow the link and go to our mint julep episode and you can see the whole history there. Uh, but if, let's just get into making the drink quick, shall we, Marius? Yes. Let's, uh, let's, let's do one for the haters today. You know what I mean? All right, so first thing we're going to do is just a couple few, I'll say 10 to 14 little leaves of mint. And these mints came out of Marius's garden. Uh, and then we're going to do three slices of apricot. And I like to put the mint on the bottom so that it, when you muddle it, you don't make it too, you don't press the mint too much and make it very vegetable tasting. You just want to express the oils, but you do want to give the, uh, you want to give the, uh, the ap apricots a good mush and you want to make sure that they're pretty ripe too, so that they mush up pretty well. So we're just going to muddle that pearl good, pretty good. Then, oh, I forgot. We've got some names to, uh, hold on. I got to look them up. I'm sorry, guys. But we've got some names to, to shout out because uh, we got our first bottle from our virtual bottle store. Uh, mm -hmm. And this one was provided by quite a few people. Everyone bought the Elijah Craig. Christopher Nikolai, Alex Adkins, and Nathan Green. Those are the three people that provided this bottle for us today. Thanks. So I just want to thank you guys so much for purchasing in our virtual bottle, our virtual store, our virtual bottle store. Where you and stuff and things. So next thing we're gonna do is two ounces of our bourbon. Uh, I am breaking my own rules and putting most expensive ingredient first. So let's hope that I don't mess this up. Then we're gonna be doing half an ounce of Rothman and Winter's apricot liqueur. Just to give it a little more apricotiness. And then we're gonna do a little half an ounce of simple syrup. All right, then we're going to take a little bit of ice. I'm going to put it in there. We're going to grab our spoon, resting just off camera, and give it a nice little stir. I'm going to incorporate those ingredients all around. There we go. Make sure everything is incorporated. And then we're just going to add our pebble ice on top. This one came from our trusty machine, our pebble, opal, sorry. Our pebble opal ice machine maker. Our pebble ice opal machine maker. No, that doesn't make any sense. Our opal ice maker that makes pebble ice. There you go. And that's it. I like oh. nuggets, but yeah. What you gotta do, that's not it actually. What you gotta do is a little bouquet. A little slappy pants. A little slap, well, we're gonna do a little slappy pants and a little crushy poo. You want a nice big bouquet for uh, mint juleps. You really do. You want to have a nice, big, big bouquet of mint and get that nice mint uh, aroma in your cocktail. So slap it on down, give it a little bouquet and then put it right in there like that. And you get like this nice big bouquet. I think we're going to re-up on our little ice cone a little bit there. And there we have it, the apricot julep. Let's take a sip. Oh, that's fantastic. Lovely, wonderful. I will say this, um, that you can dial up and dial down the simple syrup if you would like. If you have a very, um, very sweet apricot, you can take it down to about a quarter of an ounce. Um, I like the sweetness of this one. Uh, our apricot was a little bit tart, so I went up a half an ounce, I went up to a half an ounce of simple syrup, but if you do not want it to be that sweet, or if you want it to be a little bit more tart, you can definitely dial it down to a quarter of an ounce and it's and it's going to also be pretty gosh darn good. So this is something that I am going to just sit around and drink, day drink. I mean, if I want to get kind of, you know, if I want to get soused in the daytime, I'm doing it with this in the summertime. You know what I mean? And there it is. The apricot julep. I think that's all. Was that a quick video? That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, quick. Three minutes, three and a half minutes. Five and a half. What? Still pretty good though. Oh no, it ain't that's, no... that's uh, we rolled a minute before this. What do you mean we rolled? Oh, so it's four and a half. When you forgot the ice and you had to go. Get oh, it. because you kept rolling. Mm -hmm. Ah, look at you, look at you. 
So there it is, guys. I, I didn't forget anything in this um, video because it will be cut out and you guys won't know it. I mean, I just told you, but you wouldn't have known it. You wouldn't have known it, not known it. Uh, anyway, uh, if you like our channel, hit like and subscribe. Check out our YouTube memberships. Uh, we've got some good stuff going on there and we are expanding it as we go. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else? What else do we got to check out? We have t-shirts at Teespring and there's a really good one called Tiki AF, which is pretty awesome. We have, uh, we have a, uh, exclusive only July exclusive t-shirt up right now in our store. So you should check that out. It is a, uh, a slappy poo shirt with a little bar fly and a little top hat and a little monocle. It's pretty cool. Uh, designed by uh, Chad Van Borstel, one of our uh, fans and also a guy we work pretty closely with on uh, t-shirt designs. I don't know. I think that's all I got. So I'll see you guys on another time and I hope you liked the video. Hit like and subscribe. Yes, S subscribe more. Yes, yeah, subscribe more. Mm -hmm. Get us up to 373,000 subs. That's where I wanna be in the next four months. Is that unrealistic? It's ambitious. Yeah, it is ambitious. I think we could do it though. I don't know. What do you guys think?